think domain names show a lot about the validity of a site, like .edu or .org, being educational or more valid than a .com site, which might be aimed at advertising. But that validity only goes so far. Some organizations can be totally biased. Let's look at these two .org sites about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. One is founded by Dr. King's widow, who might have some bias, but the digital archives of this site are built by a team of over 100 individuals and organizations whose names and roles are provided. This site also has a mission statement and contact information readily available from the homepage, and social media tools as well as copyright information, latest news, and a date. There's a lot of information here, and it's well organized and structured to appeal to an academic and intellectual audience. This other site is hosted by Stormfront, which is a white nationalist organization with the motto White Pride Worldwide, which suggests some bias. Their site has no contact information, no copyright license, and no date. The rap lyrics, pop quiz, and flyers suggest the target audience for this page is probably grade school students. When you're looking for web resources, check the Yearbook of International Organizations at uia.be slash yearbook. This site offers scientific and balanced information on organizations, descriptions and cross-references, the activities of international organizations worldwide, and more. Always ask yourself if a site is bad, bias, anonymous, or dated. Just like any other well-written or researched source, information provided on web resources should be cited in footnotes or links, and sites that regulate language and information posted in forums or social media posts are often much more trustworthy than those that don't. Remember, question everything, trust no one, and watch more videos!